In recent developments, North Korea's naval capabilities are receiving significant attention as the regime embarks on the construction of a large submarine near Sinpo, a region central to its submarine operations in South Hamjiang province. The South Korean military confirmed this major development on August 8, 2024, shedding light on North Korea's growing ambitions in the naval domain, particularly in the realm of nuclear-powered vessels. As of October 8, 2024, military officials reported that there is ongoing analysis to determine whether the new submarine could be nuclear-powered. This would represent a groundbreaking leap in North Korea's naval power, marking the potential realization of a long-standing aspiration to develop nuclear propulsion for its submarines. Currently, the vessel is still under construction, and its exact specifications remain unclear. However, Initial assessments suggest that it is significantly larger than North Korea's existing fleet of submarines, hinting at the possibility of it being the country's first nuclear-powered submarine. While crucial components, such as a nuclear reactor, have yet to be installed, experts speculate that the increased size of the submarine could be an early indicator of North Korea's pursuit of nuclear propulsion technology. This development aligns with prior reports including a January 2024 article in North Korea's state-run newspaper Radong Sinmun. In that publication, it was revealed that Kim Jong-un oversaw a test launch of submarine-launched cruise missiles and inspected work on the country's nuclear submarine program. These reports have added fuel to the speculation surrounding the new submarine, indicating that North Korea is making significant strides toward enhancing its underwater capabilities. North Korea's submarine fleet has been a subject of both concern and intrigue for years. Estimates suggest the country currently operates between 70 to 90 submarines, many of which are older models, including Soviet-era Romeo-class submarines. Despite their age, these vessels have undergone various upgrades, particularly in their ability to carry and launch missiles. A recent example of North Korea's submarine modernization is the Hiro Kim Koenoke, launched in September 2023. This new vessel represents a significant modification of the older Romeo class design. While the Hiro Kim Koenoke remains diesel powered, it boasts a missile compartment capable of carrying up to 10 missiles, a key feature that enhances its strategic value. North Korea has labeled the Hiro Kim Kuanoke a tactical nuclear attack submarine. However, it's important to note that, despite its designation, the vessel is still powered by conventional diesel engines rather than nuclear propulsion. This highlights the contrast between North Korea's aspirations for nuclear-powered submarines and the reality of its current capabilities. The Romeo-class submarine, which forms the backbone of North Korea's fleet, as a history dating back to the 1950s. This class of submarine, the Type 033, displaces 1,475 tons when surfaced and 1,830 tons when submerged. It measures 76.6 meters in length and has a beam of 6.7 meters, with a draft of 5.2 meters. Powered by two diesel engines generating 2.94 megawatts, 4,000 shop, and two electric motors, the Romeo class can achieve surface speeds of 15.2 knots and submerged speeds of 13 knots. Despite being powered by diesel engines, the Romeo class submarines have a substantial operational range, capable of traveling up to 14,484 kilometers, 9,000 miles, at a cruising speed of 9 knots. The submarine is crewed by 54 personnel, including 10 officers, and is equipped with sonar, radar, and MRP-11 to 14 electronic warfare and decoy systems. The Romeo class is armed with eight 533 mm torpedo tubes, six in the bow and two in the stern, and can deploy up to 14 torpedoes or 28 mines. It is equipped with both anti-ship and anti-submarine torpedoes, such as the U-4 and U-1, making it a formidable vessel for naval engagements. North Korea's ongoing efforts to expand and modernize its submarine fleet signal the regime's intent to enhance its strategic capabilities, particularly with regard to its nuclear aspirations.
If the new submarine near Sinpo is indeed the first of its kind to be nuclear-powered, it would represent a significant step forward in the country's military capabilities. As the construction of this new vessel progresses, and as analysts continue to study its specifications, it is clear that North Korea's ambitions for a powerful, missile-capable, and possibly nuclear-powered submarine fleet are becoming a more tangible reality. The increasing size and sophistication of its submarines, coupled with the country's aggressive pursuit of nuclear propulsion technology, suggest that North Korea is preparing for a new era of naval power, one that could significantly alter the balance of power in the region. The world will be watching closely as North Korea's submarine fleet continues to evolve, with the potential for further advancements that could dramatically shift the strategic landscape in East Asia and beyond.